Okay, welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today, I am going to do another trick-or-treat bag. Really cute. These are on... Um, these are really good for trick-or-treat bags. They are $5, the colored ones. And then, so they're around 15 by 15 by 15 work really good um these i put the neon colors um on them and they glow in the dark i posted a picture on our tiktok all right so i am going to do a new one today and i am going to add our glow in the dark this is the luminous flex and we are going to put these on here, but I am going to add our subflex. Now, this is made for sublimation. Looks really cool. Um, I'm going to put this on here, and then I cut out a piece to sublimate. Okay, it doesn't have much color to it, but it will give it just a little bit of change on it. It would look great by itself also, but it is made to be sublimated on. So, we are going to do that one too. You can get a 9 by 12 sheet of this for $3. This is the Subflex. And also on the, this is the... Okay, I don't have the pink. I didn't do the pink, but this is the orange, the green, and the blue. Okay, we also have a white. Okay, and this is a 12 by 20 sheet for $6.50. Um, let's go ahead and we are going to press we're going to put these to the side and we are going to press this first because you press this at 290 degrees for 12 seconds and you are going to peel it cold. Okay, so let me line everything up and we will get over here and we will press. And the reason why I'm going to use this pressing pillow is because I'm really close up to the seams. All right. Okay, so now we are going to sit that and let that get cool, and I'm going to raise my temperature up so we can press the other ones, and then we will raise it all the way up so that way I can sublimate on this, and I'll be right back. So now I have, I pulled the carrier sheet off the Luma, the Subflex, sorry, and I put my Luminous Flex Glow on here. Um, I'm going to put a little saying now that I thought about it, uh, you're my boo or something cute. So I arranged these and I'm going to go ahead and press them all the same. So I just put a little heat tape and to put this on here, love the slide outs. Now this has a little bit of air in it, so I have to give in for that I'm going to use my Teflon sheet because I have my subflex on top of here have to let some of the air out okay and you are going to press these for at 320 for eight seconds and that goes for the white and the neon colors so since I'm using the neon colors we are doing now I'm going to bump up my temperature so that way I can sublimate on this all right and my sublimation ready to go I'm going to put it on the bottom and then I'm also going to put it on the top Just to be safe, I'm putting it on this pillow because of the crease. All right, 
and we are going to sublimate for 290 degrees for 30 seconds. Bring it over here. Oh, how pretty. So you can see the sublimation on it. Looks pretty cool.